Hi guys, welcome back. Hussein Sibyl here. My eyes are already red because I was in the kitchen. I was trying to make the fire. So I want to make patch corn, which is corn and groundnut or corn and peanut as some people call it. So I want to fry corn and groundnut. It's patch corn. It's like a snack that we used to enjoy, that we enjoy in the village. Not used to enjoy because we used to enjoy it up till now. So I'll be making patch corn and groundnut it's not a big deal you just fry the corn and then you add the groundnut and then you're good to go the soft corn so let me show you guys hey people like i said i'm going to be making patch corn which is fried corn and groundnut i have it here it's just two ingredients which we have the groundnut here we have the groundnut this side and the corn is this side this corn here is very 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 soft we always take the soft corn because we want it to taste good, right? So we have the soft corn here and we have the groundnut. So we're going to fry this until it's ready. When it's ready, you see from the color, the color is going to change. So we have to start frying now. I already have my pot on the fire. My pot is already on the fire and it's warm. You don't have to make the fire to be too much because when the fire is too much, the corn is going to burn. So my pot is hot. I'll put the corn first because if you put the corn and the groundnut at once, the groundnut is going to get burned because the groundnut doesn't take much to get ready. So I'll start with frying the corn. And from there, when the corn is almost ready, I'll put the groundnut. So let's start frying. I always want my corn to be proportional to the groundnut because I like my patch corn when the groundnut inside is much. I don't like it when the groundnut is small. So I will stir this. You you stir you have to stir continuously because if you let it stay, it's going to burn from beneath. So you have to continuously stir it until it's ready. So we'll start stirring until the corn is ready as you can see the color of the corn is gradually changing from white to brown if you look at it Whew. it's very hot in here so the color of the corn is changing very soon it will be ready for me to put the corn so it has to be almost ready before you put the drama because the drama always gets really quickly. So. So it's time for me to put in the groundnut now or the peanut. I always make my groundnut this much because I like my corn with enough groundnut inside. And you look at the fire, I had to maintain it at this point because if it's too high, the corn will get burned. So I'll put the groundnut now because the corn is almost ready. Some people used to fry it separately, but I just mix everything together because when my corn is ready up to a certain point, I I always know that if I put in the groundnut at this point, it's going to get ready or I don't so I don't need to secrete it. So this is our corn here. It's getting a little bit in this kitchen. This is it here. Yeah. I will show you when it gets ready. The color of the corn and the groundnut has changed. So this is how it's going to be like. I will stir again for another 10 minutes and then it will be ready. Our corn and groundnut is ready. I will remove it now. I always like to be almost burned because that is when you get the real taste. This is my corn and groundnut. You guys, our snack is ready. This is our corn and groundnut. It's ready. Come and join me, guys. And if you cannot join me, please don't be jealous. This is how I came out of the kitchen after frying the corn and groundnut. Oh my God. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. And if you are jealous of my corn and groundnut, don't worry. Just inbox me your location and I'll come drop it. Don't worry. 
I'm a cheerful giver. So, <laughs> you guys, take a look at this yummy, yummy here. Yummy, 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 yummy. Thank you for watching and leave me a comment below. Please, I want to know that you were there by your comment in the comment section, please. I'm in Babungo and I'm living the life here. So, just subscribe, turn on the bell and say, Sibyl, thank you for showing me this after so long. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye-bye.